Welcome back to the math fun, my party people. Let's go ahead and get into solving two-step inequalities here. And remember, if you're in the course or the program, you'll see that after this activity, you'll see that there's a worksheet, there's speed drill so you can practice your speed, and you can move forward from there nice and easy. So let's go and crush this here. We have solving two-step inequalities. Let's start over here with number two, and then we'll go back to number one. Because I just want to remind you that solving inequalities, remember, just like solving equations, with the exception of those few little rules when it comes to that inequality symbol right there. So with that said, let's go ahead and write this out right over here and I'll show you exactly how this is the same as everything that you've been doing up to this point. So we have negative 17 is less than 6n minus 11. So remember, if you've gone through solving equations already, which you should have done already, make sure you go back and watch those. We see here that we want to get the n by itself. So to do that, we need to take care of that negative 11 and we got to take care of that 6. So what we'll do first is we'll add 11 on both sides. And bam, that cancels out right there. Because if you subtract 11 and add 11, cancels out. Negative 17 plus 11 gives you negative 6 is less than 6n. <clears throat> All right, cool. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 6 to get the n by itself. But here's the problem, my party people. When you do that, <clears throat> that's going to cancel out right here on the right side. And you're going to have negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1. Negative 1 is less than n. So what's the answer going to be, though? Well, remember, here you look at the answer choices and the n is on the right side. So what you want to do is you want to flip the sides or switch the sides. And remember, when you flip the sides, you flip the inequality. I, did, I went over that in the last video, remember, because when you have an inequality, the sides are not equal inequality that means that they are not equal so if you swap the sides the bigger number points in the smaller number in a different direction so you have to flip that symbol so if you flip it over to n and negative one this right here the less than turns into greater than that's it if you flip the side you flip the inequality and if you multiply both sides by a negative you also flip the inequality because you negate both sides but long story short, C is the answer here. And now let's go back to number one. Let's go and check this one out here. If you're struggling with the ASVAB, then it might be time to check out my ASVAB All Access program. It has all of my classes and the recordings, all the practice problems that you ever need, and you can text me whenever you need help. So there's much more to it, but feel free to click the link right here in this video or in the description that tells you a lot more about the program. And there's a video explaining how it all works. If you have any questions, I'm Coach Anderson. Find my contact info and reach out to me if you have any. Let's get to it and let's taste the ASVAB. So we have zero is less than or equal to one plus B over 21. So let's solve this, my party people. We got this. Zero is less than or equal to one plus B over 21. Now let's check this out here. What we're going to do to solve this is we're going to go ahead and understand what the order of operations is. Notice that we have this one just sitting there by itself. And then we have B over 21 over here. So if you're asking, should we multiply by 21 first? No. Remember, just like we went over in two-step equations, two-step inequalities, again, you use the same process to solve. You just follow a slightly different set of rules. So I do expect you to go back and look at two-step equations. Look at part three or part two where we have fractions in there. So let's go ahead and check it out here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract one on both sides. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Because if I do that, that cancels out here on the right side, giving me negative one is less than or equal to B over 21. And now what I'll do is I'll multiply both sides by 21. So in doing so, bam, multiply by 21, multiply by 21, and that's gonna give me negative 21 is less than or equal to B. Right over here. And so now that we have that, we're good to go. But the only question is, well, remember, again, the inequalities are on the left side. So we're just going to go ahead and flip them over to get B and negative 21. But we need to flip that inequality to go from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to just like that. And that makes the answer here C. So let's keep it going here. Let's go down to number three. We have negative one plus A over two is greater than or equal to five. Same deal, my part of people, we're going to treat this just like a two-step equation, where the first thing we'll do, let me just write out everything here. We have negative 1 plus A over 2 
is greater than or equal to five. So the first thing that I'll do here is I'll get rid of that negative one by adding one to both sides. Once I do that, cancels out on the left, and we have ourselves a over two is greater than or equal to six. And now my next and last step is gonna to be to get rid of that two here. And what I'll do is I'll multiply both sides by two. Because when I do that, dividing and multiplying by two, opposite operations that cancels out just like we wanted to, and we have a is greater than or equal to 12. And there it is. And that would be the answer right here. Booyah. So I'm gonna go over a few more of my party people. We got this, man, we definitely got this. Let's go ahead and take a look at number five here. I like this one because there is a negative involved. So let's go ahead and see what we're gonna do here. So we have negative five is greater than or equal to negative two K minus five. So there's a few different ways we can handle this. And I'm gonna show you all the different ways. So watch this whole little bit here where I'm gonna show you one, two, maybe three ways to solve this. So first off, let me write it out. Negative five is greater than or equal to negative two K minus five. So the regular way that we are used to solving this is simply gonna be getting K by itself. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start by adding five to both sides. By doing that, that's gonna cancel on the right side. And also you see here it's gonna cancel on the left because negative five plus five is zero. So we're gonna have zero is greater than or equal to negative two K. Okay, from there, I'm gonna divide both sides by negative two and we're good. Now, the only problem is, again, we're dividing by a negative. So remember, when you divide by a negative, that symbol, that inequality needs to flip because you're negating both sides. This is not an equation where you're guaranteed both sides being equal. They're not equal. And so there's a relationship. So if you multiply both sides by a negative or divide by a negative, you are reversing the relationship. And so what that means is zero divided by anything is going to be zero. So that's fine. But that symbol, that inequality, flips to less than or equal to. And then from there, we're gonna have that cancel out on the right side, and that's how you get K by itself. And so from here, remember that our, our answer choices need to be with the variable on the left, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip these. But remember, when you flip them, you also need to negate or flip the inequality. So that's gonna end up being K, zero, and that switches to greater than or equal to just like that. And so K is greater than or equal to zero. This was a tricky one because you could have easily picked D. Now here's another way to take a look at this smart party people. Here's another way. I showed you, let me go and show you a second way to do this. Because again, at the end of the day, if you understand the mechanics, then you're going to look at every problem as absolutely solvable, absolutely doable, as opposed to looking at a confusing problem and being like, what? Right? We don't want that. We want to be able to look at problems confidently and tackle them the right way. So with that said, let's take a look here. What I'm gonna do immediately is I'm just gonna swap the sides. I'm gonna put the left on the right and the right on the left. Why am I doing that? Because I wanna make sure I have the variable already starting off on the left side. So if I do that, remember that we need to make sure we flip that inequality symbol. So that becomes automatically less than or equal to. Another thing that I noticed is that, yo, hey, all of my terms are negative. I'm going to have to have a positive on the variable right at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead, change the sign on everything on both sides. You're allowed to do that. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So I'm going to negate or multiply by a negative on both sides, because what that's going to do for me is here. Watch. So over here, a negative negative two is positive two K. A negative negative five is plus five. And then remember, since we multiply by a negative, that less than or equal to becomes greater than or equal to. And then that negative negative five right over here becomes positive five. So this becomes a little easier for me to manage because now all I have to do is then subtract the five, which cancels out on both sides really, really easily. And I have two K is greater than or equal to zero. And then I'll divide both sides by two and I'm done. So again, if you wanted to see it that way, you can still get the correct answer as K is greater than or equal to zero. You can still get the correct answer and notice that it looks like it took more steps, but later on, as you keep practicing and practicing, you'll realize that you can go ahead and perform these, these steps without having to worry because you know what's gonna happen to that inequality symbol. Really the main thing about inequalities 
is that one, you have to have a strong foundation with equations already, and two, you just need to understand the rules for that symbol. That's it. So swapping sides, multiplying by negatives, those are the two main things you have to worry about. And so with that said, my party people, let's take a look at one more example. Let's go ahead and take a look at something a little more normal. Let's take a look at this one over here. Number 10, man, eh, maybe something else here. Let's take a look at something that looks like a little more fun. So let's take a look right here at 17. 7a minus 6 is less than or equal to 22. So check this one out. We have 7a minus 6 is less than or equal to 22. So this one over here, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by adding 6 to both sides. Once we do that, cancels out on the left, giving us 7a is less than or equal to 28. And from here, we divide both sides by 7, allowing us to receive right there, a is less than or equal to 4. And there it is. C is your answer. And so there it is, my party people. There is two-step inequalities. Let's go ahead and again move forward to the worksheet where you'll have problems just like this. And remember, in the worksheet that I provide with you, you're going to have the answers over here on the last page. So if you look at your answer key right over here, you'll see that the answers are marked. Every answer is going to be marked for you. So you can try out every problem, understand what the correct answer is. And then from there, move forward into the speed drills where you're going to be able to practice for speed all the way through, build that confidence, perfectly so. And so, with that said, my math party people, you know I got your back all day. I'm Coach Anderson. Go ahead and move forward and keep practicing, and then I'll meet you in multi-step inequalities to cap it all off. See you there.